Today we're going to be talking about femininity, becoming the woman that you want to be, and comparing yourself to other people. Let's get into it. Alright, so let's talk about comparing yourself to others. When you compare yourself to other people, you're basically robbing yourself of the joy of being your authentic self. Like, you're robbing yourself of the opportunity of being who you were actually created to be. Like, you can follow a person down to the T, like, follow their IG, dress like them, you can talk like them, you can do whatever, but you will never be that person. There is an old saying that says you can imitate, but you cannot duplicate, and trust me, the more you compare yourself to someone, the less of a person you're gonna feel because you're always gonna come second place to that person that you are comparing yourself to. When you compare yourself to other people or when you imitate other people, you're basically closing the door on who you were actually created to be. And if you ask me, I think it is 100% better for you to be like the authentic version of yourself than to be someone else's carbon copy. What do you think? I mean, I could be wrong, but <laughs> I think I would rather be the authentic version of my own self than someone else's carbon copy. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Sometimes we spend so much time idolizing other people and fantasizing on their lifestyle to the point where we don't even realize that we're not even living our own lives. And that is very unfair to you. It's very unfair to the person that you were meant to be. And that's not good for you. Like, you're not focused. Hello. It is a privilege to be yourself. What you need to do is focus on the path that you're on, focus on the lane that you're in so that you can be prepared for roadblocks. You know when to swerve, you know when to hit your brakes, etc. Everybody doesn't have the same path or purpose, which is why you need to stay focused on the lane that you're in. Think of it as driving, you know what I mean? Imagine you're on this side and this person is on this side. This person is actually very focused on where they're going, but you're focused on where this person is actually going. What do you think is gonna happen to you? You're gonna inevitably crash. That's life, hello? You have to focus on where you're going. Some people are going to get there before you. They're going to achieve more before you. But that does not mean that you're not getting where you're supposed to go. Everybody doesn't have the same journey. The goal is to make sure that you are focused on your journey. Because if you don't pay attention to where you're going in life, you're going to crash. Just like driving. Focus. All right, y'all, so now we're gonna talk about how to build yourself up. See, sometimes you need to break yourself down into little pieces, like literally tear yourself down. And sometimes, you know, the help of heartbreaks is good. I know it sounds really bad, but sometimes we need to get our hearts broken because it adds, like it helps us. Sometimes we're like going down some deep little dark little corners and path that we're not even supposed to be at because we're blinded by love or whatever, the things that we're attached to. But the minute you are broken hearted or you are broken, like you have literally managed to break yourself down and have the little pieces laid out in front of you, now it's time to, you know, you can see everything like through your eyes and be like, hey, this is where that is supposed to be. That's what I was doing wrong. This is where I'm supposed to be going X, Y, Z, this, that, and the third. So think about it as jigsaw. You know how jigsaw, the little pieces are all over the place and you have to put things back together. And sometimes you build it up to a part where you actually feel like, yeah, this is it. And then when you look, it's not it. Something is just not adding up. And you're like, oh my God, I have to take it all apart so I can fit this one little part in. Sometimes this one little part that you're trying to fit in is actually what you needed. So you needed to take yourself apart, pull it down, get your heart broken, go through the motions and everything just so you can build yourself back up. It's a lesson that I've learned and I'm teaching y'all. Sometimes we're not getting the results that we're supposed to be getting because we don't have our little jigsaw set up properly. We don't have our little screws set up where they're supposed to be set up properly. So that's why we don't really be getting a lot of the results. So you're not supposed to be afraid to tear yourself down and start over again. And if you are torn down by a situation or someone, don't be afraid to start over. Starting over is the opportunity to do better. It's the opportunity to do far better, to, you know, elevate, to learn from your mistakes and to grow into who you were actually supposed to be in the first place. 
And I know that it is hard, like it is dead ass not easy, but just like the jigsaw, when you finally put it together and you finally get it right and you get the picture, you're like hella excited, right? So that is life. Just look at it like life. Tear it down, put it back together, be excited. <laughs> Also, learn how to put out into the universe the energy that you would like to receive. If you put out hate into the universe and negativity, that's what you're going to receive. So you want to make sure that you're putting out a lot of love, a lot of productivity, a lot of positivity, a lot of good vibes, good energy, so that that can come right back to you. You know what I mean? Also, stop hating on other women. Like, stop hating on other people. You know what I mean? Don't try to be like anyone else. Don't try to hate on anyone else. Just try to be happy for them. You're seeing their achievements. You are not seeing their struggles. You have no idea what they have went through or what they're going through to get to where they're at. So it makes no sense hating or imitating. Instead of doing all of that, just try to shift the focus into something positive. And when you feel that negative energy coming over you, brr, Satan, not today. So you want to make sure that you turn it around. So instead of being like, oh, she act like she better than everybody. Oh, she driving a Benz or a Bentley. She hype. Like, look at it and be like, oh, you know, she has a Benz. Oh, she driving a Bentley. Must be nice. I'm happy for her. You know what I mean? Just be happy. Be happy for other people so that when your time comes around, people can be happy for you. Just learn to shift the focus from negative to positive. All right, y'all, so now we're going to talk about owning your femininity. See, a lot of females are like mad feminine, you know, the way they talk, the way they act, the way they dress, their whole aura is like mad feminine. And because of that, you're going to look at a person who is like different from you and be like, eh, why is she like that? You know, that's where the chase comes in. That's where the imitation comes in because you're like, why aren't we the same? But hello, you're not made to be the same. Like, I used to think that I wasn't feminine enough because, you know, oftentimes I've had to tap into my masculinity and, you know, be the man. <laughs> but I get to understand over a period of time, like, that's not even what this is about. See, my femininity actually comes from within. I had to take some time to think about it and, you know, figure out, like, what makes me more feminine? What makes me feel more feminine? And I just start to do like a lot of what makes me feel more feminine and more nurtured. And that's what that's where it actually comes from. You just need to sometimes do like an like an analysis, <laughs> that word. Like, yeah, you just need to like analyze your life, your situation, sit down and think about the things that, you know, actually makes you feel a lot more feminine than masculine. And you could just work with that. Like if dancing makes you feel a lot more feminine, go ahead and dance if doing your makeup or doing your hair and nails makes you feel more feminine then go ahead and do a lot more of that like just tap into your femininity because like i said before like you deserve it you know what i mean and it's nice to just be nurtured and soft and tender and you know that girl that you were actually created to be it is actually a very good feeling so the first step in owning your femininity, you have to accept yourself for who you are and just find what works for you and just bask in that element because that is actually what it is about. It's about how you carry yourself. It's about how you speak. It's about, you know, whatever you find fun or whatever makes you happy and, you know, feminine and soft and nurturing. That's literally what it is about. Like a lot of girls, a lot of other girls, they, they be thinking about skin tight dresses and heels and makeup every day and this, that, and the third. I'm not that girl. If I'm invited somewhere, the first thing that's coming to my mind is sneakers, jeans, and t-shirt. I don't know, that's what makes me feel comfortable. So like who wants to go out not feeling comfortable? <laughs> don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. When it's time for me to doll up, I do doll up. I wear my heels and I whatever, but it's not my first thought if you get what I mean. Then again, it all depends on the setting because if you're going to a dinner as a female, you're not gonna step out in freaking sneakers and t-shirts you're gonna think about you know a nice little dress a nice little shoes and you know you get your hair and your nails done and this that and the third because you want to pop out it's a dinner date you know what i mean but like i'm saying it does make you feel feminine but it's not my first thought if it is your first thought to think about high heels and skinny dresses that's fine if it makes you feminine or makes you feel a lot more feminine tap into that 
hop right into it. I do like getting my hair and my nails done. You know, I do like getting my brows filled in and I do like eyeshadows and, you know, a little mascara and all of that. Like that I wear every day because that is a way that I use to express my femininity. I feel like I'm more comfortable when I tap into my elements, which, you know, looking like this and all of that. <laughs> Like, it makes me feel more feminine, so I do a lot more of that. Like I said, femininity is basically, you know, owning who you are and, you know, tapping into that. So whatever it is that makes you feel more feminine, you want to make sure that you do a lot more of that. So remember, femininity is more like, you know, nurturing yourself and building yourself into who you want to be and how you want to feel. It's more like that, you know what I mean? So y'all just want to find whatever it is that works for you, whether it be singing, whether it be dancing, whether it be writing, getting your hair done, your nails done, going out, whatever it is that makes you feel feminine, you need to find it and you need to do a lot more of that. Tap into that element and just do what you got to do. So with that being said, y'all hope that you guys learned from this video. Also, hope that y'all enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Don't forget to go like, go comment, go subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>